Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. This news in the streets. Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely T T V show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely T T V show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Hey, tea sippers. Hope you guys are doing good today. So we have to talk about this man. Okay, this man named Will Powers on TikTok. So I don't know if it was just me. If you're black, maybe you got it too. But this man done sent out a black signal. Wanted all the black folks to come to him and help him out. So basically on Sunday, I had jumped on TikTok and this was the first video I see. See this bald white man, he's holding a little black baby and he's basically like, hey, if you're black and you're on TikTok, I need help. I need all the black people on TikTok to come to this video and help me. So I'm like, what the hell is going on here? So I'm, you know, I'm continuing to watch his video and he's holding this little baby like a little prop doll and he's just raking through this baby's hair. The baby looks to be a newborn and he's basically asking for help. He's saying that, you know, he has this new black baby. He has no idea how to care for this child's hair and he needs the internet to come and, and you know, teach him. You know, he's a, he's a struggling white man with this black child. He needs help. So my first question was first of all where did you find this black child you know you're asking all these black folks for help and i'm gonna definitely come because you know what i'm saying eyes black too okay but what was very interesting to me is that you're asking for hair care advice for a newborn okay the newborn don't need nothing done with her hair besides water maybe a shampoo once a week and some oil on her scalp she does not need you raking through her scalp. She does not need you raking that brush through her hair. Basically, the same thing that you do to your hair, you know, the hair that you don't have on your head, is what you need to do to her hair. Just let her be, okay? So we're going to go ahead and watch this video of Will basically asking Black TikTok for help. So we're going to go ahead and watch this together. I am hoping to get this TikTok over to Black TikTok. Any Black parents... Um, we have adopted a black baby. Her name is Zoe and I don't know what to do for her hair. Um, I have this little brush. I have something from Shea Moisture. Um, I really don't know what to use. So please, any uh, black parents or anyone who knows what to do with black children's hair, please help me in the comments. Thank you. Beautiful baby. That is such a beautiful baby, but he's over here playing games, okay? First and foremost, like I said, that baby needs nothing done with her hair. And I just don't like the fact that he's basically using this child as an accessory or a prop. Because, again, the same internet, you know, Beyonce's internet that he came to call all black people. Calling all black folks, I need help with my child's hair. That same internet, he could have just as easily Googled. In the comfort of his home, Googled, how do I take care of a black newborn child's hair? The black mother who gave birth to that child, he could have asked her. I'm sure there were black nurses at the hospital. He could have asked them. If this is an adoption situation, where are the caseworkers? I'm sure there's some black caseworkers who work in that building. He could have asked them. But see, the reason why he chose to bring it to the internet is because he's looking for attention and possible sponsorship deals. Let's not forget, we live in a day and age where basically attention is a new form of currency. And you have people who will have children just to monetize them. Look at all these damn family channels. And I'm glad a lot of them have just fallen by the wayside because people are tired of folks basically using and, and having children for nothing more than a check on social media, okay? All right, hi guys. So I'm just gonna go ahead and say it because that's what the title already says. We are not adopting from Thailand. Whoa. Sorry. Yeah, well, we are still adopting. We're just not adopting from Thailand anymore. So. You want to explain why? So um, here's this here's the situation. Thailand has a its own law that's unique to it 
that um, after you are you pick up your child and they're your child, you are not allowed to talk about them or share any images, photos, videos, anything about them online for a year. Yeah, and that. So. I mean, Nikki's got a YouTube channel. We share a whole lot. Wait, it's... hold on, hold on, hold on. When that hit, we literally were like. Yeah. What? So it's really sad when people do this, when people adopt children, not because they really want to be parents, not because they care about them or they want a better situation. They're literally using these children for content. And what is up with black folks always on the internet handing out black cards, inviting random white folks to the cookout? What is that about? You know what I'm saying? You can't come to my cookout until you've been vetted and I feel like you're worthy of coming to my cookout. Y'all be inviting people to the cookout simply for having an adopted black child. Y'all gave this man a black pass simply for having an adopted black daughter, okay? Y'all don't know where this baby came from. The way that he was brushing that child's hair should have disinvited him from the damn cookout. So I just, I wasn't feeling that. All these damn free black passes and cookouts. I'm like, what, what is this? It's only on social media where we just give out random cookout passes to white folks. I just find that whole situation just insane. And again, I have no issues with interracial adoption because I feel like this. At the end of the day, I'd rather have a child in a loving, safe environment with parents who truly care about them than them having to fend for themselves in the foster care system. You know what I'm saying? A lot of things don't go good in foster care, unfortunately. So I'd much rather have a child be adopted by a loving family. But this situation just screams to me, I want a bunch of people to follow me, particularly black people, okay? So that way they can keep up with Zoe and, you know, how we're raising Zoe and, you know, what Zoe ate today and what we did with Zoe. Zoe is no more than a prop and an accessory to this man, Will Powers. So now we're going to go ahead and watch some reaction videos from other people on TikTok and how they feel about the situation. Because initially I kind of, you know, I didn't leave a comment, but I was thinking to myself, this doesn't really sit right with my spirit. Not the adoption, but the way he was presenting this, the way he kept, you know, calling all black people, black people to TikTok, I need help. The way he just kept saying black, he was definitely doing it on purpose to try to go viral to get more attention. But I think at this point, he done bit off more than he can chew because now when you go look for him on TikTok, his page is privated. He done deleted the video. He keeps trying to take down other people's stitch videos. So he's definitely feeling the backlash. So it wasn't just me who kind of felt funny about this situation. Obviously, a majority of black folks on TikTok also felt a way about the situation. So we're going to watch some of their reactions right now. They're also doing spoofs as well. I'm hoping to get this TikTok over to black TikTok. Any black parents? Um, we have adopted a black baby. Her name is Zoe. And I don't know what to do for her hair. Um, I have this little brush. I have something from Shea Moisture. Um, I really don't know what to use. So please, any uh, black parents or anyone who knows what to do with black children's hair, please help me in the comments. Thank you. love our people you know we will take some stuff and turn it into a key key quick fast and in a damn hurry okay so we're gonna go ahead and watch the next reaction here i thought you wanted feedback on your aesthetic baby though or you only wanted feedback when it was positive towards the aesthetic baby you didn't want any negative out that's the reason why you've been taking people's videos down and stitching but then how are you going to get the information from the black community on tiktok that you probably just could have googled or even better yet, you know what you could have did? You probably could have just talked to somebody in private instead of making a spectacle because you bought an aesthetic baby. And now that your post for your aesthetic baby and your aesthetic baby as cute as the baby may be is not saving you right now. Mm -hmm. That baby has a place at the barbecue in a high chair, but the baby's not old enough to get you invited though. It almost seems like you want to be a black. Not the baby coming to the barbecue and placing the baby in the high chair, but the daddy can't come now. So y'all don't revoke his his cookout pass. Okay, I see y'all black TikTok. They're like, I don't know who's inviting this man to the cookout, but we, the delegation of black TikTok, have uninvited his ass to the cookout. I'm not mad. Black girl so bad. You want to be a black baddie. You fishing for them compliments. You want people to tell you how good the hair is. And for the love of God, please, 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 can you have people spam me? I am really trying to make money on TikTok, so I really need the engagement. Don't ratio me, but I do need the, I need the interaction. At the end of the day, 
you having that baby is no different than the fancy people that walk around with little, you know, little miniature puppies inside their purse because it's trendy. I can't wait to see the apology video in a year because we had to take the baby back. It just wasn't working. I do adoptive parents think it's okay to take a womb wet baby and cosplay with them. Literally womb wet. So you guys have seen this video, the one with the dad asking the black community for help with his uh, black daughter that he emphasized the black like nine times on that video. He then said he was going to black talk into the internet because he didn't have anywhere else to turn to. And he was just looking for information. And after a little bit of investigation, my question is, why didn't you ask that mother, the one, you know, the one who gave birth to your daughter, Zoe, you were in the, her hospital room for literally five days. Why didn't you ask her about her black daughter's hair when she was literally with you? Oh, you were too busy having photo ops in the operation room while she was literally pushing her baby out. And while your husband was cutting the umbilical cord, you were recording videos, and then you did scan and skin immediately after she was born, right next to her mother. I don't know who this mother is, but I'm like you, I'm gonna block her face to conceal her identity and for confidentiality, which you should have given her the honor on one of the most tremendous days of her life. And she's losing her child to you. Another thing I want to address is you said you didn't have enough time to prepare for this child because she was a last minute placement, saying that you only had two months to prepare, but you know, can't happen. But you had enough time to make means of you being pregnant with your husband. That's what <laughs> what? You had what? time to become a parent content creator. Wait, we're not pregnant memes. You know what? I'm so over social media. So he don't got time to Google how to take care of a black baby. But he got the nerve to be trying to Photoshop his pictures and make him look pregnant and, oh, we're expecting. Okay, sir. Since when did you get a uterus? We're going to rewind that back a bit. But you had enough time to make memes of you being pregnant <laughs> with your husband. That's weird. Also had enough time to become a parent content creator uh, and try to do sponsored posts, but you didn't have enough time to even educate yourself on your daughter's black hair. I really wanted to give you the benefit of the doubt that you were an adoptive parent that was doing this for the right reasons and not for content and not for cloud or self praise. But unfortunately, that's not what it's looking like. You paraded that baby out days after it was born, mm. going to hotels, going to events with a fresh baby. And you clearly show no concern for that birth mother, especially by showing her face on your public platforms. Now that black mother has to see her daughter on black talk because it went viral and her face now on your social media platforms, which I'm sure people were going to start to share. I hope that you take this time because adoption is permanent and you're in this permanent agreement. I hope you take the time to listen to transracial adoptees. It, I hope for the benefit and safety of that child, I hope you do, because what we've seen so far is exactly what we talk about. I mean, it's exactly what causes maternal separation trauma, being ripped from your mother, womb wet, not even allowed to touch your mother, not even allowed to have your birth crawl with your mother, not even allowed to have the, the golden hour with your mother and to be immediately placed on a stranger's chest does cause maternal, cause maternal separation trauma. And it does cause trauma for the child. And it's just simply unethical, especially when the mom's sitting right next to you. Mm. Please listen and learn and always shine your light. I try not to be the black woman who offers unsolicited advice when I see white parents adopt black children, especially black baby girls. Mm -mm. Y'all make it so hard, so difficult, literally. The way he was flinging that baby, like it was not, it's not, she's not a newborn, baffles me. And then in the comments, he's like, oh, it was to keep her from falling. You don't. You don't handle that baby like she's a ragged doll. You just don't. Baby can't even be but six weeks brushing the hell out of her right. scalp. Oh, Beyonce's hard. internet saying, well, can you guys just let us know what we need to do with her hair? We just adopted. I just know that that baby is going to be a prop for the rest of her life. It's going to be a talking point that you adopted this black baby. And I hate that for her. What be y'all intentions when y'all adopt black children that you don't know how to take care that you did no research prior to all of the what be the process of these adoption agencies that you just i'm confused if you watch the entire video of this willpower this gay white man who was able to adopt a black newborn baby and is asking black tiktok for help 
and how to take care of her hair. I think her name is Zoe. Who gave you this baby? And how did you get this baby? You do not even know how to take care of a baby, how to brush their hair. Are you qualified to take care of baby Zoe? <laughs> if you watch how hard he is brushing her hair, where's your parenting classes? No baby's hair should ever be brushed that hard. And were there no qualified black parents who wanted to adopt this newborn baby? I mean, it's fine. I see white people adopt black children all the time, but they do their research and they certainly do not come on ask how to take care of a newborn baby's hair. It's the same. A black newborn baby's hair is the same as a white baby, an Asian baby, uh, any, any babies. Their hair is soft. You just brush it gently. Whoever approved this adoption needs to be investigated because I heard that you're a felon. I'm a foster parent and I have to get a police record done, police checked, and I'm told that anybody who has any sort of criminal record cannot be around my foster child. But you are a felon and you got approval to adopt this black baby girl. Mm. It doesn't make any sense. All right, so you guys just saw all of those TikTok videos. People have been dragging him and his partner for the filth all day. And I don't feel bad for him because I think at the end of the day, he did this for social media attention, validation. Y'all know attention is a hell of a drug. And imagine being an adoptive parent and not doing your research or your due diligence on the child that you're adopting, on their ethnic background, how to take care of a black child and things like that and coming to social media and looking for TikTokers, random people on TikTok that you don't know to come and help you. He is clearly looking for attention. That is just stating the very obvious. And then the fact that more information has come out that he's a felon. I'm also hearing that this was a private adoption. Um, and the girl who basically, um, Zoe's mother, she's a 23 year old foster child and she has like really three or four other children. Um, she has two of her own. She gave up another one and this was her fourth child. I mean, the whole thing is just insulting. It'd be no different than getting ready to go to the doctor's office, you know, and you're going for an ailment, you know, you're, you're trying to see what's going on with you and your doctor literally takes to TikTok and he's like, hey, you know, any other doctors on TikTok? You know what I mean? I need help. It's like, no, that, that, no, I don't want to go to a doctor who's going to go to TikTok to look for help. You should know this. You should be doing your research. Like the one man said, if you have time to make memes of you being pregnant, you had time to Google how to care for this child. And so that's the part that's just really disturbing. Like I said, I didn't want to be too critical when I saw it. But then I'm like, yeah, this just screams attention whore. This just screams using this child as a prop, as an accessory. That's the vibes I got. And so then I just kept on scrolling. I just, I wasn't feeling it at all. Um, but I'm glad to know that people are holding him accountable and that TikTok lit his ass up. Because like I said, he has since you know, privated his page and everything else. So the whole situation is unfortunate that this baby who is extremely innocent in all of this foolishness was born into this chaos and now her face is all plastered all over the internet. So with that being said, I look forward to reading y'all's comments down below. Don't forget to hit the video with a like. Feel free to share the video. Most importantly, make sure you're still subscribed to the channel. So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping and I'll talk to y'all later. Deuces. If you want the latest news in the streets, join us sentiment for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe.